In this video, we'll walk you through cleaning the Eplog Mini in Helix's optics. Start by shutting off the laser and remove the power cord from the machine. Remove the left side panel by removing the four Phillips head screws on the side of the machine and the two screws on the back of the machine. The Eplog Mini in Helix's optics system includes four mirrors, an optical window, and a lens. Near the back of the machine is a periscope housing that directs the laser beam from the laser tube to the top of the machine. This contains a mirror at the bottom and at the top, as well as a window across from the top mirror where the beam exits the housing. A beam then travels to the end of the x-axis assembly, where a third mirror directs it down the x-axis of the machine. Finally, a fourth mirror directs the beam down toward the work area through a main lens which focuses the beam for cutting and engraving. The mirrors in the periscope housing are enclosed and will likely require cleaning less often than the other components of the optic system. These other components are exposed to dust, smoke, and other debris and should be cleaned regularly as part of your routine maintenance. Let's start with the lens assembly. Begin by applying lens cleaner fluid to a cotton swab. Gently clean both sides of the lens with the cleaning fluid cotton swab. Then gently clean the mirror above the lens. Next, gently clean the mirror at the end of the x-axis assembly. For the outside of the window at the top of the periscope housing, gently clean it with the cleaning fluid cotton swab. Next, let's clean the components inside the periscope housing. Remove the four corner Phillips head screws from the top mirror. Do not adjust the hex screws. The periscope housing mirrors may be attached with an adhesive layer, and a tool like a flathead screwdriver can be useful to help pry the mirrors away from the housing. Clean the mirror with the cleaning fluid cotton swab. While the inside of the periscope housing is accessible, use the cleaning fluid cotton swab to clean the inside of the window at the top of the housing. Then reinsert the mirror, positioning it so the two hex screws are near the bottom and one near the top. Reinsert the four Phillips head screws loosely at first, tightening once everything is lined up. Finally, remove the four corner Phillips head screws from the bottom mirror. Do not adjust the hex screws. Remove the mirror and clean it with the cleaning fluid cotton swab. Reinsert the mirror, positioning it so two hex screws are near the bottom and one near the top. Reinsert the four Phillips head screws loosely at first, tightening once everything is lined up. Reinstall the left side panel by reattaching the four screws on the side of the machine and two screws on the back of the machine. Then plug the machine in and turn it on. 